my YouTube and today I will teach you another guppy breeding technique that I use in breeding my guppies but before that shout out to Tim Lumot of Davao City thank you so much daghang salamat dia sa mga taga Davao na nag uh, lantaw sa ako na videos dia sa Tim Lumot ng Davao City so ngayon ito na yung uh, breeding uh, technique that I use in breeding my guppies in this uh, breeding technique I will be using this uh, silver koi guppy that I have this female and another female and another female so I will be using this in this uh, breeding technique that I will be sharing to you so to show you this uh, silver koi guppy here you will see that this uh, female don't have a red uh, red beak okay so I will be using this uh, sil female silver koi guppy so as you will see that this uh, female silver koi guppy have the resemblance of the albino fall red female so this uh, female silver koi guppy it is albino and it has a red tail just like the albino fall red female so I will be using this uh, female in outcrossing my albino fall red so we will be producing albino fall red using this tuxedo koi female guppy itong technique na to ginagamit ko when this technique I'm using this technique just for example I bought a uh, trio guppies from the pet shop or from the another breeder and later the females died and I only have male uh, guppy just for example albino full red so there are trio albino full red two female and one male albino full red what happened is that the two female females died so I already I only have one male of albino full red so in order to produce another male and females of albino full red I will be outcrossing the uh, male albino full red to the uh, tuxedo uh, silver koi female guppy which is have the resemblance of the female albino full red here is the breeding tank of my albino full red now I will get one female of the albino full red so that I we will compare the female of the albino full red with the silver koi guppy so this is the female this female are my breeder females alright so I got three albino full red females here so as you will see this albino full red females their, their eye are red color red which means they are albino and they have a red tail as you will notice their tail is not uh, pure purely red compared to my silver koi guppy now this is my silver koi guppy we will try to see to compare that the two females the silver koi guppy and the albino full red so I think the silver koi guppy female comes from it has a 
it has the gene of the red red guppy I think this uh, silver koi guppy originated from the albino for red guppy because as you will see here this is the silver koi guppy it has a red tail and it has a red eye which means it is uh, albino and it has the same resemblance with the albino full red so this is the albino full red females and this is the silver koi guppy female so now my goal in uh, crossbreeding this uh, silver koi guppy is to produce more albino full red using this silver koi guppy the only thing about this uh, silver koi female the male of this silver koi their fins are not so good just like the albino full red so now we will know if the traits of this albino full red are are dominant if dominant traits if these traits will will uh, be expressed in the first generation of our outcrossing if not on the first generation it will express on the second generation if the traits of this albino full red is uh, six link then probably it will be expressed on the first generation so more about six links we will i will be sharing that also to you about six link what is six link so just keep on tuning to my channel and later i will share to you about six link so now I will be showing you the male of the albino full red that we, I am going to cross out cross with this uh, silver koi guppy. I will be getting the juvenile uh, albino full red. So this is the juvenile uh, albino full red, but this juvenile can already mate with the female you will see the gonopodium of this uh, male is already de developed but the fins are not yet fully developed so this uh, juvenile can mate already with a uh, uh, silver koi guppy so i will be using this uh, male in outcrossing to the silver koi guppy that i have so in this breeding program our goal here is to produce males of uh, albino full red using the female of the silver koi guppy. Now I will be putting this in this uh, small breeding tank that I have. Okay, that's the male silver koi guppy and. This one is another male of silver koi guppy. So we will be, I will be adding two more silver koi female silver koi guppy on this tank so that we will be maintaining three lines of our outcross. Uh, I think I will add uh, three more females so that we will have four lines. So we will be doing the intensive cross breeding. So later about intensive cross breeding, I will be also sharing that to you how to perform that intensive cross breeding. Here is another female of the silver koi guppy. As you will see, it has no red beak, but it has a red red tail. 
so there she goes so I need two more females so, I need two more females so another female of silver koi gapi so the trait of the silver koi gapi is otosomal so later I will be also sharing to you about otosomal what is otosomal and here is another uh, female of the silver koi gapi there they go now it's complete we have four females of the silver koi gapi and one male of the albino full red so three to four days hopefully these females will become pregnant and we will try to see after three to four days so just keep on tuning and more updates about this uh, guppy breeding uh, technique that I am using kung meron kayong mga question or suggestion, i-comment lang po sa ilalim ng video na ito at para sa mga updates, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe sa channel ko at i-click ang bell button para ma-notify kayo sa mga bagong videos ko. Hanggang sa muli isa naman magandang araw sa inyo lang.